Guys, today we're going to talk about the SIG P365. There's just a little bit of color fill there. I do have a video how to do that. But anyway, this is uh, stock besides some fingernail polish on there. Um, if you guys do like today's video, please do like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's get into it. So guys, I'm going to take just a quick second to uh, go over all the stuff here real quick. Barrel length 3.1 inches, overall length 5.8, width is 1.06 inches, height is 4.3 inches, and the weight is 17.8 ounces. That's all internet specs. Sorry, I uh, probably keep moving there. Um, real quick on the gun though, I got the you know you got the front slide serrations as well as the rear. You have um, you'll be able to swap these sights out if you want. I know there's already a new X-ray sight coming out, which I'll talk about a little bit, as well as the uh, back. You can switch those out as well. Um, the grip texture is you know fairly aggressive. I'm actually going to change to Talon rubberized grips once those come out. Um, one other thing that I really like about this gun before I get into my rant is you do not have to pull the trigger to break the gun apart. Um, I have a whole video on how to do a, uh, you know, how to clean it or how to um, do a field strip. So I'll try to annotate that as well. I'm only allowed so many annotations. But anyway, guys, uh, let's get into it. SIG P365, the best concealed carry gun on the market. What do you guys think? Alright guys, so I know you know quite a bit about the SIG P365. I have tons of videos on my channel about it. Uh, latest video I did was a 1,000 round uh, count I did on it. Let's take a real quick look at the gun here. This one does have the SIG night, night sights, SIG light night sights. Um, I know that they have changed the front sight to the x-ray ones. I will have them send me one when I can. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with the night sights that are on it, but uh, might as well get them to send me a new one. Um, anyway, so you guys know this is about the same size, a Glock 43, pretty similar to a Shield um, 9 mil, and also like the Ruger LCR, I'm sorry, excuse me, the Ruger LC9S. Um, I do have videos comparing this gun to all of those. I will try to put annotations up. If not, you can search the channel for it. So guys, 10 plus 1 in this little gun, 10 plus 1. This is the easiest gun that I've had to bring around with me um, that has 10 rounds at least. Uh, you could compare this to a Glock 26, but this is way smaller, way smaller. It comes with two 10-round magazines. This is the flush round, flush magazine here. Um, let's just show you guys the gun safe and clear. Clear there. Empty mag. So this is the flush mag, flush plate. And I have the 12-round, or uh, excuse me, and I have the 10-round pink extension. This gun does also, that's my next point, this gun does also come with a 12 round extended mag. Um, I have not gotten my hands on one of those yet. Pretty much everybody sold out. The only reason this gun isn't um, all over the place is because it is hard to find. I got so lucky I went to my local gun range and I just randomly asked if they had one of these and they said yes. And uh, here it is. So, some of you guys know the story. I, uh, you know, the first few, few hundred rounds I shot through this. I had quite a few failure to return to batteries. Uh, might have been a little bit of limp wristing. Might have been uh, the 115 grain Winchester white box, whatever. I switched to 147 and 124 ammo, grain ammo, and I have not had any problems. I shot Federal American Eagle through it, as well as the Sig Sauer Elite. Um, this gun has not had any problems with any of those rounds. So the last, what, 650 rounds or so. Um, the only things I've had is the failure for the slide to lock back on the last round, uh, mostly when I'm just shooting one-handed. So this gun fits my hand pretty darn well, guys. Uh, you guys know I'm kind of a shorter guy. Insert good short joke, please, not crappy short jokes. Um, anyway, it's, it's not the easiest to get both hands gripped on, but uh, you know you can shoot. It shoots very well. It's very shootable. Let me double check. We're clear. I'll show you guys the trigger here. So you got a little bit of take up there. Nice trigger. This is probably the second, my second favorite trigger after the Canic TP9 SF Elite, which is an awesome gun also. This gun is sweet. If a new concealed carry guy came up to me and asked what gun I would recommend, the SIG P365 would hands down be the gun I'd pick, especially uh, with the upgrades they'll have on the site. And I, from what I understand is they were going to fix some of the um, stuff that the first few 
uh, models had. The uh, if you guys watched um, Harris holsters, his barrel didn't match up with the slide very well. So I don't know what's up with that. But it's, once all the things get fixed, I'm telling you guys, this is the gun to beat. I would like to see what Glock, M and P, uh, HK, all those people. I'd like to see what they come out with. They gotta try to compete with this 10 round magazine in this thing. Um, it's awesome, guys. This is the gun to get. So, very easy to conceal. You could uh, probably pocket carry this. And, uh, I don't know. This is the gun to have, guys. So, SIG P365, my top choice for a concealed carry weapon At as far as this point goes. I don't know what else competes with it, guys. I mean, you get 10 rounds compared to either 6 or 7 in the other single stacks. If you're able to carry a double stack, you know, the Glock 26 is also a great gun. But, uh, why not carry the smaller gun? Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I know these are starting to actually get out now finally so if you can get your hands on one of them shoot one at the range see if you like the trigger as much as I do this is a great gun guys